Hey guys, wanted to give you some of my uh, post WrestleMania thoughts. I have not seen the entire thing yet. Um, honestly, don't know all the results yet. I don't really care too much. Uh, give you some of those in just a minute, but one of the topics that I want to get to is actually more about um, TNA, but wrestling as a whole. And um, that particular, that's my brother in the background, uh, that particular thing I want to um, address today would be boycotts, boycotts of wrestling, do they work, how they work. Uh, a lot of people just don't realize that you can turn off the TV and th that comes through not only in ratings but in how, how you do it. Another thing is you don't just turn off the TV. A lot of people think, oh, just because I'm not watching it, it's going to get bad ratings or something. What actually is going to happen is they are going to realize people are are tuning out however one of the things that also has to be accompanied with it are the letters now I'm not talking physical letters I'm talking emails I'm talking all kinds of things I have emailed Dixie Carter in particular many many a time and you can do it by just going to info uh, go, going to the TNA website and finding whatever contact you can um, most of them are going to be like info at tnawrestling.com but email them and tell them what you want. TNA will listen. Uh, they don't always know what the fans want, but part of the reason is the fans aren't emailing them. Uh, they are shooting their mouths off on the internet, on YouTube, and things like that. Where And quite honestly, a lot of the wrestlers especially don't care what you think uh, when it comes to that. They They... They don't want to see you shooting your mouth off saying this person sucks, this person sucks, this person sucks. They don't want to see that, okay? They want to see you putting together a well read a, a well written email, and they want to see, see what you like and what you don't like about the show. Period. They don't want to hear what's good and what's bad. That being said, some things that they do are good, and some things that they do are bad, but your opinion is what they want not what's good what's bad does that make sense it's it's a, it's a little bit different um anyway moving on from that subject i'd like to say i am going to be writing a letter this afternoon to dixie harder about the orlando jordan angle and just you know a lot of wrestlers um if you haven't if you haven't heard about this yet um, Orlando Jordan will be doing a bisexual gimmick that will be completely over the top and many of the fans have even chanted that was creepy, etc. Now, a lot of wrestlers and a lot of people in general will argue, well, it's a reaction, you know, that that's a good thing. You, you want a reaction no matter if it's good, bad, or whatever. Well, if it's making me and I know other people uh, email Dixie Carter and email them saying, uh, I don't think I'm going to watch the show this time unless you start making some changes, then that's not a good thing. So, you know, there's a difference between heel heat on a wrestler and heel heat on a company. And when there's heel heat on a company, you know, fans are going to go elsewhere for their wrestling, period. And no, they're not going to, you know, some people say, oh, well, they'll, 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 they'll say it's bad and tell all their friends and then their friends are going to watch it. No, it doesn't happen that way. You know, it might have happened that way back, you know, during the, the Monday Night Wars or something like that. But this is a different generation. A lot of people, if they didn't watch it, they'll go on YouTube and they'll find someone who uploaded it and they'll watch it. And that's never accounted in ratings either. Um, some wrestling shows are all YouTube now uh, some of the independent shows but anyway my point is that the Orlando Jordan angle I will be writing to Dixie Carter about I have some very strong personal feelings against it um, and I, I just don't want to watch it I want to watch AJ Styles and Kaz have matches I want to see all I want to see Samoa Joe and, and Desmond Wolf and the Pope and Mr. Kennedy and uh, or Mr. Anderson and Kurt Angle and all those guys. I don't want to see Hulk Hogan versus Ric Flair. Uh, Ric Flair has entertained me some, I will admit. 
But Hulk Hogan, he continually strokes his own ego, and it's not exciting TV. Well, I'm going to wrap this video up. Uh, shoot me some comments, uh, rate and subscribe, however you feel uh, is needed, and visit ChristianWrestlingAlliance.com. I will be posting more videos soon. Thanks. I'll see ya.